Hello, Dream Chaser. I've been teaching you over the past few weeks about how to use blogs, how to use videos to further what you're doing, to actually develop what you're doing and master your talent so that you can use it in your call. This week, I'm going to show you a, something that actually gives you a fast pass to the front of the, the front of the line for your calling. And what that is, is having a mentor, a qualified mentor that is in your field. And a lot of people, you know, they kind of shy away from finding a mentor or they don't look for one. But tonight I'm going to give you three reasons why you absolutely need a mentor. And I'm going to start with the fact that mentors, a great mentor, that's a mentor in your field, is one that will have just valuable knowledge. I have dealt with a lot of people in the fields that I have worked in, which have been television, uh, actually some public speaking, as well as I was the president of a record label, so I was in the music industry. And in that, I would have people that came out of college, and they would teach them a lot of stuff about their field, but when they actually got in the field, it turned out it was a lot different than what they were learning in the books. And so a mentor will have valuable knowledge because they're already in the field that you're trying to get in. So therefore, they will know things that you won't learn in books. They will know kind of the practical way of doing something because they learned it on the job. But the second part, which is kind of related, the second part is that mentors have vast experience. And I heard a story that somebody told, and they actually used it uh, in conjunction with alcoholism or overcoming anxiety and depression, but it actually fits this pretty well. And that story is, a guy's walking down the street, and as he's walking, he falls into a hole. The hole is very steep, has tall walls, so he can't get out. First person that walks by is a, is a uh, doctor, and he says, can you help me, doctor? I'm stuck in this hole. Doctor writes him a prescription, throws in the hole, walks off. Second guy that walks by is a preacher. He said, preacher, can you help me? I'm stuck in this hole. And he says, okay, writes him a prayer, throws it down, walks off. The next guy that walks by, he says, hey, can you, can you help me? I'm stuck in this hole. Can you get me out? And the guy jumps down the hole. And the guy in the hole says, what, are you out of your mind? You know, now we're both in the hole. You jump down here with me. How are we going to get out? He said, yeah, because I've been here before and I know the way out. And this is where the experience of a mentor works for you. Because not only do they have the knowledge, not only have they had the skills that got them into that job, but they've dealt with all the craziness and all the things that come up and the rising of the tide and how the hell fire sweeps you know, into that specific profession and they've had to deal with that. And you can learn from their experience so that you don't have to go through the same things, so that you don't have to beat your head you know, against the concrete. So if you learn from them and the experience they've already had, it saves you so much time. And I found in looking at different jobs and the way that they train people, if they would put more experience in it, instead of just by the book training, like you get with a mentor, they would save that person so much training time and they would save that person so many mistakes because, you know, they've learned from the mistakes already, there's no need to repeat them. Here's something that's been really valuable, and that's the third point, which is a great mentor in your field has an array of contacts. When I first got into the music industry, I found that the people that were helping me happened to know somebody that was the president of a record label, or that was an artist manager, or a band photographer, or some graphic artist, and it saved me time because I was in their circle because they mentored me. And when somebody mentors you and they allow you to be in that circle, what happens is those people kind of take you serious because you're associated with that person, right? And if they're taking you serious, then when you promise them something, you have to step up to the plate. But when you step up to that plate, they see how serious you are, and then the, the contacts that you made through your mentor, they have their own circle of contacts, and you get invited into those. And just from doing that right there, I've been connected with so many different fields, so many different players in the music industry, and in the uh, television and film industry. And even those people knew people that actually work at various things in Charlotte, like Fashion Week and festivals, and, and one of them designed most of the restaurants uptown, you know, interior design, and they introduced me to more people. So just by having a mentor who had contacts 
that led me into other contacts and I lived up to what I was supposed to do with these contacts, then all of a sudden I had a vast array of contacts. And I was able to mentor people in return. Something happened there. I had some of my recent television interns. One of them is now uh, running something with Clemson football. They, they have to do a lot with Clemson's promotion and marketing. The other is an artist manager in Nashville. And another um, actually works for one of the other big companies in Nashville. And I have one more that works for one of the television stations here. So they got out, they used my contacts to build their circle, and the greatest thing happened. They made these amazing contacts and then turned those back to me. So my contact circle became even bigger. So you have valuable knowledge, a vast amount of experience, and an array of contacts that could really work for you. So why would we let our ego tell us that we could do this alone? Two heads are better than one, right? Especially if one of those heads happens to have so much experience and knowledge and contacts. So, that's my presentation to you of why you need a mentor. And to the dream chasers, until next time, just remember, the world needs you to dream. Thank you.